Hey everyone, this is Nitreg from Nitreg.com, and I'm here today to go over a couple of uh, troubleshooting uh, things with Intertops Poker and Hold'em Manager 1, and also just kind of how to overall set up everything so you're running smoothly on Intertops Poker with Hold'em Manager. Uh, so the first things first, um, I've been seeing a lot of support threads about HUDs not working and stuff like that. For me, my HUD worked perfectly as when I when I got Intertops, but for some reason my second session, um, there was no HUD whatsoever and I couldn't figure it out. So um, I kind of figured it out for Hold'em Manager 1, and there's a few things that you got to double check about your HUD and about the you know Intertops Poker software. Uh, the first thing is make sure that your the poker table is the right dimensions, like the default dimensions. So you go to view and view the table in, at default size and it'll resize it to the default size. I think that causes some of the problems. Um, another big thing that was one of the issues that I had was one of my tables was slightly off screen, um, just the corner of it, uh, just, just like this. Um, so for some reason that makes it so the HUD can't work. I don't know why. Um, so all you have to do is just make sure that you pull all the tables onto the screen um, because if it's just like one pixel off the screen then your HUD's probably not going to work for Hold'em Manager 1. Um, another big thing that uh, for me at least for uh, Hold'em Manager 1.12.09 I think that's the version I have um, is that you can't sit wherever you want like I'm used to having a preferred seat so uh, you know, it, if you have a preferred seat, you just go ahead and remove that, and um, your your HUD will always pop up where you're de where you uh, wherever you first sat down. Um, so wherever you sit down, no matter where your preferred seat is, that's where the HUD is going to pop up. So if it's slightly off like this, you just go ahead and right click on your name, just like around where the money is, and then uh, just say move clockwise, move counterclockwise, and then it'll move you to that appropriate seat, just one at a time. It's kind of annoying that you can't just like right click and say sit here. Um, Oh, actually, you can. Never mind. <laughs> so, yeah, if I'm if I'm sitting over here, I can just right click and uh, do sit here or always sit here. But don't don't click always sit here because that'll mess up your HUD. Um, another, uh, I, I guess that's it for Holden Manager. If you guys have any other questions, uh, try posting here, and I'll see if I can help you guys out. But I'm not gonna be perfect. Your best bet is just to go over to Holden Manager One's forums over at HoldenManager.com and uh, they, they're pretty good about helping out over there. Um, for setting up inner tops, uh, you want to go over to options, just click options and this little window pops up. Uh, there's a couple things that I did, uh, I can't 100% remember off my head, but I'm just going to go through and just show you some important things. Um, for the windows, uh, if you click this little windows tab, you can uh, set all your tables to the right size. So let's say you have like eight tables open and you don't want to like individually go view and then view this table at default size. If you don't want to do all that, you can just click the button for all tables to go to the default size. So that's going to be pretty nice. You can also tile cascade and put uh, put your tables at to four corners, which is also pretty nice for uh, just quick layouts. Um, for the game, um, it's a couple of important things to do, I think. I always like to have my blinds checked and um, auto muck and wait for the big blind. Um, those just seem pretty standard if you're a reg, so it's always nice just having an option there for that. Um, let's see, if, here's the seating. Like once they fix Hold'em Manager 1, you can fix where your default seating is going to be at. Um, always And also make sure to do custom buy in amounts too. Um, custom buy ins really. I mean, the custom buy-ins work well on Intertops, but it's the, uh, the auto rebuys on this tab that really drive me nuts on Intertops. Uh, like, see right here, it says I have $19.70. Well, if I have an amount like that that's just under 100 big blinds, it doesn't reload me. It just kind of sits there. But if I go a little bit lower than that, it, then it reloads me. Um, I'm not sure if I set it up wrong, but uh, I have it set up so it auto rebuys when uh, to, to table maximum when I'm under... Um, I guess 100 big blinds or whatever my buying amount was, but for some reason it doesn't work when it's just under. I'm not sure why. Uh, you can change your avatar in this tab. Just seems pretty standard. Just pick the most tilting thing ever. That's generally what I do. Um, go ahead and sit out here. Uh, graphics, just pick whatever you like. Audio, I turn everything off except for turn, player turn and timeout. That way, if something doesn't pop up, I can still hear it and find what table I need to 
work on. Um, for the custom themes, um, you can set what theme you want. The standard theme is all right, but uh, I like to go. I, I went to edit themes, and you can go ahead and set your own themes. I, I just made it colors that I want. I made it the layout and looks that I want. Um, I also, I think, I think the default is two color card deck, and I chose four color card deck. You can also choose the size of the text and everything like that. So that that was pretty nice um, that I was able to fix that. That's just in the themes menu. And the hand histories, it automatically saves hand histories, but it's in a folder that I think is hidden on your computer. Um, so what I did was just make a hand history folder on my desktop, so it's just easier for me. Um, you know, it's just as a preferential thing. Um, that's just what I did. Uh, just make sure that you go into Hold the Manager One and set the auto import folder to whatever folder you make it here. Um, other than that, uh, there's not really much to say. If you want to check out your cash here, you obviously click here. And if you're a DGen, you can click casinos or sports books up here. Um, I recommend you stay away from that though, uh, if you like making money. Um, here's all just your bonus stuff. Like here, here's the gold cards. I've got three of them so far. Um, eight gold chips. I should have ten gold chips, but I threw two of them away and I sit and go. I I bubbled the uh, table, which is a little frustrating. Um, and I'm at loyalty level two. Whoop de do. So uh, you know, it, it, it's a pretty cool site. I like it. Um, check out the reviews at uh, nitregs.com for the site. And uh, I hope this uh, this really helps you out if you're already at Inner Tops. Just a couple of the frustrations that I had off of, uh, off the bat for Inner Tops, but I got it all figured out with Inner Tops and Hold a Manager One. So uh, if this helps at least one person out, then I feel like I haven't completely wasted my time. Uh, that being said, uh, if you like these videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I come out with um, my YouTube channel. I come out with videos all the time. And uh, go over to nitreg.com and uh, sign up there, and you get all my posts and stuff, and I, I post a lot of strategy and just uh, really cool poker stuff, so I um, hope you guys like this, this is Nitreg from Nitreg.com, and I'll see you guys later.